Good morning guys, it's the next day and I'm gonna build that run here in a second but before I do I want to plant some marigolds on my raised beds. There we go, I planted a few there, close to my tomatoes, and the rest I'm gonna plant over at the other beds. Okay guys, so I'm gonna build a basic box, eight feet long, by four wide, by four high. And then I'm gonna cover it with chicken wire. And I just happened to buy the four foot rolls of chicken wire. So, let's get started. Again, I am only building a super simple run, just a simple box, so I can keep them safe until I figure out a permanent solution. One thing guys, I need that piece to be 45 inches long because this whole thing has to be exactly four feet wide. Why? Because the chicken wire is four feet wide. So it's gonna go on top. You know, that's, let's just imagine this is the top part. It should go from that end to that end without me having to cut it or add anything to it, okay? So we got an inch and a half on this one 45 inches on that one, another inch and a half over here on this two by four for a total of 48 inches, which is four feet. So that, keep that in mind. All right, guys, I haven't screwed anything together yet. I'm trying to figure this out. So what I'm gonna do is cut another one in half. So yeah, two of these are gonna go on at the end. Two will go over there in the, in the beginning and then i'm going to add two more in the middle i wasn't going to do it originally but i'm going to do it now but in order for that to work the two in the middle i'm going to have to cut an inch and a half off no i'm going to have to cut three and a half inches off and screw it right on top of this one so it'll be level with the others and then i'm going to take another two by eight and I'm gonna put it between, on top, one here going that way and the other one going the other way. And then I'm gonna cover it with chicken wire. Will it work? <laughs> Not sure. We're about to find out. All right, here it goes. What's the worst that can happen, guys? It's only screws and wood. If it doesn't work, take them out, do it again. This is softwood, so it goes in easy. It's fur. All right, one down, many more to go. All right, guys, so I was wrong about that midsection. All the four foot sections must remain exactly four feet because how am I gonna put the top eight footer if it's there it has to be even with those that way the top piece can mount right here let me show you there we go guys this is what i meant Now 
I'm going to come from the top and screw it in. All right, first of all, I am not a carpenter, okay? And this is why I say that. They're too long. These four footers are too long because I figured out that if I'm going to staple the chicken wire to these pieces of wood all the way around, you see that? There's not, there's nowhere to staple. See that? That chicken wire is at the bottom of that 2x4 and it comes to the bottom of this 2x4 here on top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut 5 inches, 5 inches off of this one. Right now it's 48, I'm going to bring it down to 43 inches, all of them. Okay, then I'm going to put this one on top again and I'm going to measure one more time. Oh, and by the way, I think I may have bought one or two less than what I needed, but it's no big deal. I think I have some in the uh, garage. Guys, I decided to go with 44 inches, not 43. Forty-four inches is a sweet spot. Now, why did I cut this with a two by eight on top? I stripped the screw, but it's only three inches long. So yeah, it only comes to about maybe halfway here. So now I have to hammer it out. All right, so I am done. Well, I haven't screwed anything in yet. So I'm gonna measure one more time, make sure that the chicken wire is gonna go right where I want it. When I unroll it, yep. It's gonna go right there, perfect. I am trying to hurry up a bit. Cause I'm gonna need my wife's help and moving this, this run outside before she goes to watch the grandchildren. Yeah, they're, they're gonna be coming out of school here very shortly, around 3 p.m. It's almost one o'clock already. Yeah, my wife doesn't know it yet, but I need her help. So again, 44 inches. You could probably go 43, but for me, 44 is a sweet spot. Let's get moving. I should say, let's get cracking. All right, I'm gonna use these now. They're longer and I think they'll be better in the long run. By the way, did I tell you how much I love these tools? They're the best. My wife just brought me a smoothie. She's taking good care of me. Now, I am almost done, but I need at least one brace. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get a piece of uh, 2x4 and I'm going to attach it here all the way to the other side. And once I do that, then I'm going to unroll the chicken wire. Right now, it's good enough for government work. What do you think, guys? It's a simple, simple run. All right, guys, so I think I'm done for now, at least with the wood, I'm ready to unroll the chicken wire. So I put this brace here. I, this is like 40 and a half inches between that and that. And then I put another one down here too. But instead, instead of doing it up here, I put it, I tied it to this one here. You see that? This was uh, 44, 44 and a half inches or so. And then I put this strip here so when I, when I unroll the chicken wire, I can staple it here. I mean, it's probably not necessary for what I'm doing, but just so it doesn't sag too much. And before my wife goes, 
I'm gonna have her help me out uh, and take it out to the chicken coop and I can finish the rest out there. All right guys, success. It wasn't too heavy at all for my wife. She helped me carry it here. So it's not level, not by much. Notice, um, I need to level this. So I'm gonna dig a little bit of uh, dirt along the path of this two by four at the end over there just to level it just a little bit not that it's really required and then once i do that i'm going to put the chicken wire all the way around and then i'm going to put chicken wire on the three side well to two sides of the chicken coop and on the back i do want them to go in under the coop from here so no wire here so once I do these uh, couple of things, hopefully here within the next uh, hour or two, I'll be done and then I could let them loose. guys it's uh, pretty level now okay so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with the chicken wire So the sides are done, this side, the back and the other side, and it is stapled in place. Now all I have to do is the top, there we go guys, I am done. Now again this is only temporary. And I also put chicken wire under the coop because I do want them under under the coop so they have more space. All wings on deck. Let's see who's going to be the first. A nicer brown, it's always the first. Oh, maybe not this time. They were trying to push her out. Now, I intend to keep this fence electrified every day. I don't think anything's going to be able to get through this fence like a coyote, a fox, weasel, mink. I don't think they're going to be able to. But this is only intended during the day. So when they get spooked, 
they don't jump the fence the electrified fence and then they become vulnerable I plan on keeping them there for a month that way they'll be bigger and they won't be able to fit through these holes right there these are the three lines that I'm concerned about they definitely cannot fit through the smaller ones at the bottom but they can still fit through these three hopefully that'll take care of it I have been contemplating on building a permanent run I mean that could come sometime in the future but right now this will be fine I mean I still miss the one that we lost a couple of days ago we're never gonna get her back but I hope not to lose another one if we lose another one somehow then I'll stop what I'm doing and I'll take action and do whatever it has to be done to keep them safe but for now I think we're good they're under the house under the coop and getting a little shade and I'm gonna turn off the energizer first before I go in because I don't want to get zapped What's up little monsters? How are you doing? Yeah, they got feed, they got water. I gave them some last night. This is El Guapo. Look at the colors. It's coming up nicely. All wings on deck. 